Hello, hello. I want to quickly go through how to file your annual report for your business on the Secretary of State. And in particular, this is the North Carolina Secretary of State website. So what you wanna do is go ahead and log into your account, which I have already done. And you're gonna type in your business name. So you wanna to go to, I want to search for a business or you can go to file an annual report online okay so if you click over here on file annual report online then what you would do is just scroll down a little and it's going to say click here to e-file an annual report So once you get on this page, you want to go ahead and just type in your business name. And for example purposes, I'm just going to type in the name of another business. So you just want to scroll down or you can just put in your full business name and then go ahead and, and um, select it from there. But once you click on... Um, and put in just a part of your business name is going to pop up all of these different names that begin with that and you only have to file an annual report if it's highlighted um, annual report in yellow as you can see um, some of these businesses have multiple businesses they've been dissolved um, or they're you know inactive or whatever the case may be but you just click on on annual report next to your business and then you say file current annual report due after that you will certify that the above company is the entity i intend to file an annual report for or i am an authorized you um, authorized person to file an annual report for the above company well you have to choose both that you that the above company is the entity you intend to file an annual report for and you are authorized to file an annual report for the above company so this is the report for the year 2023 is the business 50 percent um, owned by a military veteran and i'm going to say no And next is going to ask you, is the current registered agent the United States Corp Agents, Inc.? And that's the, the um, registered agent that this person chose. And the registered agent information is going to stay the same and you just click next and the registered agent's mailing address and you click next and briefly des describe the nature of your business. So in this case, this person's business is um, aesthetics and laser. And you would um, type in your principal office address here. Now, if you don't want your home address um, posted on the Secretary of State website, then you would go ahead and put your, um, this is not legal advice, but you would go ahead and put your uh, virtual address or your um, whatever uh, online uh, business that you've selected to receive your mail or if you have a virtual office or if you have an actual physical office in a place like Regis or something like that then you'd put that as your principal office if you don't want your home address um, posted here and then you put your principal mailing address that could be the same or it could be different if you um, have your mail going to a separate place and then you just click on your company officials if they're not the same then you would just click on edit officials and next so here it says the purchaser entity and then you select the entity that is executing the annual report. And that would be the member's name right there. And you click next. And then after that, you get to preview your filing and make sure all of the information on the document is correct. 
and if it is you would go to checkout once you get to checkout you're gonna see it confirm it's going to confirm the type of document that you're going to be uploading. It's going to tell you that the price to do your annual report is $200. And there's also an e-file fee of $3 that will be added in as well. So after that, you click on the next page and you will submit your payment method. And that's it. Thanks for watching.